What to do about difficult co-workers? Joining us for this week's Smith Business Close-Up is Cindy Stevens, an associate professor of management and organization at the University of Maryland's Robert H. Smith School of Business. Dr. Stevens, thanks for being with us. Thanks for inviting me. How do you define a difficult co-worker? What does that mean? Well, we weren't sure, and what we ended up doing was interviewing 46 people about their experiences with difficult coworkers, if they'd ever had a difficult coworker, and if so, what those, those persons did. And what we found from analysis of the data was that difficult coworkers are, it's not just a personality conflict. Uh, these are people in the workplace who actually hinder other people's ability to perform their jobs. Uh, working with them either means that you end up having to take more time to complete your tasks or you're distracted while you're doing them. In some cases, you have additional things that you have to do. For example, uh, you end up having to have group meetings to resolve problems, that sort of thing. And typically, there's a number of people in the workplace who find the person to be difficult. So th this isn't uh, the difference between somebody who's slightly better at a task or, or faster uh, at a task, this is somebody kind of undercutting the, the work of, of whatever the organization does. Yes, uh, and we interviewed a wide variety of people from medical doctors to TV producers, uh, school teachers, attorneys, uh, bank uh, executives, and so forth. And in every case, they ended up, their difficult coworkers interfered with other people's ability to perform the job. You must have heard some, some pretty good stories. <laughs> some really outstanding stories, although some of them are a little bit horrifying. <laughs> so what, from a management standpoint, uh, do you do about this? Well, we're going to start studying that in the next phase of our investigation. But uh, I would say the thing that we took away from our interviews with these people is that the managers really need to intervene to do something. This is more than just a personality conflict. In every case, the person's ability or the work team's ability to perform their job is being impaired in some way. Um, and so really managers need to actively intervene to find out what the performance problem is and to take steps to try and resolve it. If it's an interpersonal conflict, they need to sit down with the person and um, talk with them about the kind of impact it's having on the work group. You, you would think at a time of high unemployment, uh, the people would be on their best behavior and, and management would have the upper hand in this sort of thing. You would think so, but uh, we were really surprised to find that in most cases, it was very difficult for managers in the organization uh, to fire the people, even if their own performance was very low. Uh, managers just found it very difficult to um, do, take the steps that they needed to take to document the performance problem and say, you know, we need to, we need to get rid of you because you're interfering with other people. How, how do you avoid hiring that person in the first place? <laughs> or, or is that a really hard thing to do because there are some disincentives to a previous employer giving a negative review or, or reference for somebody? Well, I think that's part of the problem. A lot of organizations are concerned about being sued for defamation when they end up letting somebody go, and so that information can be really difficult to come by. Um, I think uh, my own personal opinion is probably the best strategy is to ask behavioral kinds of questions about, for example, how did you handle conflict in your previous workplace, uh, and talk about the kinds of um, you know, problems that they faced in the prior workplace to get some idea about whether the person would be a good fit. I think it's also helpful to have multiple people interview the person. And, and your team on this research project, everybody worked together nicely? <laughs> we did, although one of the funny side effects is that we started asking ourselves, am I a difficult coworker? <laughs> <laughs> well, introspection is, is a good thing. Cindy Stevens so. joining us from the Robert H. Smith School of Business. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.